The big news of the day, which is Wayne Rooney now, uh, has hung up his his boots and he's going to be a manager from here on in. He's been appointed officially the Derby County manager. Just um, there's so much I want to ask you because you know Wazza. You've yeah. known him from what, 14, 15? 14, 15, yeah. Okay. Um, firstly, do you think it's a gamble? He, the fact that he was going to retire, of course, at any time soon. But do you think it's a gamble going straight into such a, a big role? And it is a big role because there's already a huge amount of pressure on him. Yeah, but he, he's been in charge for a little while now, so he's kind of getting to grips with it. Um, and and some, you've always got to start somewhere, managers. And I think with, with Rooney, he knows the players he played there, which is important, I think, so he knows how the club operates. Um, he was kind of a player coach there. Um, but we all knew it was a matter of time before he, he got the manager's job. The team's been doing relatively okay underneath him as well so I'd understand and with the takeover apparently that's imminent mm. um, you have to say that I don't think it's a gamble but then as I said all managers have got to start somewhere and, and just so happens that he's obviously started at Derby Frank Lampard went started at Derby and obviously went on to Chelsea but for Wayne yes it's a perfect surroundings he, he knows the environment as I said he knows the club he knows the players mm. so then that, that part there is, is already done mm. it's just about obviously now trying to get results and get him out in the bottom three you've played with these players yeah. you've, you've been on the pitch I haven't so what's the difference? What's it like? Give me some stories of maybe when you were with Rooney in training and with Gerard in training. Just tell me a bit about... R R Rooney always had this like, annoying knack of doing things that he said he could do. So, for instance, I'll give you an example. Uh, we were at England training and we, was, we just had a, a drinks break and we're walking back to start training. And he goes, oh, Benty, come in. I went, oh, yeah, I'm going over. What's up? He went, watch me hit this crossbar. Now, obviously, you must have seen it before. Crossbar challenges. From, from the halfway line? From the halfway line. He went, oh, I'm going to hit the crossbar. I went, oh, we're gone then. He went, oh, I'm not just going to hit the crossbar. I'm going to drill it. So it hits the bottom side of the crossbar, bounces down, and then bounces no, back he, up into the roof of the he net. He didn't say that. He I, didn't say. He didn't I, say all of that. I promise you, he. This is what he said to me. I hundred yeah. percent said to him. I went, yeah, right, was I thinking? Yeah, you're never going to do it. Honestly, he drilled it first and time. Feel, he drilled first it from time, the halfway, halfway line. Halfway in the in the circle. Yeah. So around the halfway line, bing bing, underside of the what, bar. Hit in. the underside of the bar. Of the bar no came way. down and went in, and he just turned around and just laughed at me. And you know it's one of them annoying habits you think, oh, right. Oh. Sort of thing you I have know a I go. I, I have a go, and I scoop it really did high over the bar. Did or, you have a go? Yeah, of course I had a go. Did you? <laughs> yeah, it's got nothing you're, still, it. you're still coming down, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. But he, he was just one of them that was a magician. And I played, we went to a La Manga um, on an England kind of training camp when we were young kids. Yeah. Um, and he was obviously the youngest in the group, and he was the best player by some distance. He was too powerful for everyone. At what age? I th I must have, if I was 15 or 16, he must have been, what, 14 maybe? And honestly, too powerful for everyone. What, so what was he like at that age? Was he quite a, a wide Stocky, unit? Stocky, yes, yeah, strong, powerful. He was just throwing people off him, left, right and centre. Had you seen anyone like that before, Never. at that kind of age? not that force. That was a force of nature. So I, you knew, everyone knew then, that yeah, he was going to be that it, good. You, it's, there's always that period, though, where kind of youngsters, you have a little wobble, didn't you? And you're going to go one way or the other. We've seen it, unfortunately, with people like Ravel Morrison, where he can go... People have spoke yeah, about how good yeah. he was, didn't quite uh, live up to the, the expectations. And we've seen it before with others. But him... You saw what he, the ability, the power, the strength, and you go, oh, it's only a matter of time. And I, I remember, sorry, one this one particular time, I think he played in the Youth Cup for Everton, and I remember our coach at Ipswich Town came back, and I remember him coming back to talk to us before we had a youth team game or training or something, and mm. he said, you need to go and have a look at this kid that's over at Everton. We're like, oh, he was like, he's the best thing I've seen like for the last 10 years, he said. And obviously, he was obviously at the time talking about 